Good day, good day. How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland, the channel that's all about anything and everything Land Rovers. Oh, I'm your friend Dan. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, guess what we're going to look at today? Yeah, if you don't know what this is, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to tell you about what this is, huh? How about that? <laughs> That's why you tune in. Learn something, share something, discover something. Here we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a Husky. Yes. Patent pending. I don't know if they finally got the patent through. I'm not sure. But it's made in Great Britain. Forward control. Land Rover. There you go. Look at this ugly duckling, huh? <laughs> this one um, happens to be kind of one of my nicer ones. Uh, somebody, I don't know, young, young person, old person, I don't know, put a little details on it. This one actually has the top to it. Just snaps right off. We're going to talk a little bit more about... Uh, Husky and who they are and what they are. Um, little grill action there, kind of neat, kind of neat. Uh, one of the corners is busted off on front of the front there uh, bumper. But yeah, we're going to talk about Husky today. What brings this on is a friend of mine, uh, shout out to Dave. What is his last name? <laughs> Chauffeur, yeah, man, I just about forgot. He's a crazy man that lives in the Dells area, and uh, fellow uh, diecast uh, guy. He and his job takes him all around uh, Wisconsin, the tri tri county area, with his job. Uh, hell of a dart player, I might. I dart. Are they players or are they? I don't know what they are, but anyway, hell of a dartist. <laughs> Anyway, he found this, and uh, he gave me a deal. He didn't quite charge me 25 bucks for it, but he didn't even know it was a Land Rover. He had it sitting on his table one time at, uh, at Diecast Meet, and uh, I said, Dave, you, I thought you didn't have any Land Rovers. I don't like, know. And I'm like, well, what is this? And he's like, oh, I didn't even know. I'm like, all right, well, there you go. We all learned something. So um, I finally got it off of him, and um, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Removable canopy there. Anyway, on inspections, um, yeah, it is an original card, but this is not maybe the original model. As you see, it has been cut open and retaped, but uh, it is uh, the Husky Models number 11, which um, I'm not going to mess with this. Uh, this is the way it is. This is the way it came, but this is an example of... Uh, I don't, in my collection, and someday I'm going to do a video on how to build a collection or, or what steps you want to do to making a collection and uh, stuff like that. And I'm going to ask some uh, uh, people in the uh, community uh, some of their advice before I post that. But uh, So if you're watching this video and you have a, a Land Rover collection, Hey, heads up, I might give you a hoot and a holler and ask you your, some of your opinions so we can share it here on this platform. Talking about this platform, Roverland, I got to stop. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Yeah, we're getting up there. We're just over 80 subscribers, but we got to subscribe, we got to like, and we got to share in order for this channel to grow and the Land Rover, uh, right now, the Land Rover scale model community to grow. Uh, this last uh, couple of days have been kind of neat. We've gotten a lot of uh, new, new found friends that love Land Rovers. So anyway, back to this card. I, I, you know, he he knows that I'm a sucker and I'll buy anything and everything pretty much within a reasonable price. Um, that's Land Rover. So. Um, he didn't actually pick this up for me, but, uh, and I, I did uh, tell you the truth. I did pay $20 for this and, and trade and everything, but, um, secret here, here's a secret, top secret. Don't tell anybody, but if you have a guy that does a lot of hunting or, uh, stuff like that, uh, and you want him to do some hunting for him, sometimes you got to throw him a bone. 
you got to leave a little meat on the bone for him so he will continue to, um, you know, hunt for you. Uh, so that's kind of one of my uh, tips. Uh, you know, I'm kind of pretty frugal, and I, and I try to educate. Like Dave here, I'm like, hey, Dave, you know, uh, you know, this is how much I'd pay for that. This is how much, you know, so then he knows uh, what I'm willing to pay for and stuff like that. But anyway, kind of a really neat package made in, in um, Great Britain. Uh, a little thin oil on wheel bearings will aid free running. There you go. Remove bubble with scissors or knife. This is just kind of unique packaging. I'm, I, yeah, I bought the packaging. That's really what I did. It's a beautiful model. Very uh, no play with other than it did have a crack crack on that front um, bumper up there. But very a nice, very nice model. Kind of mint on the package, but not really. But that's okay. Anyway, talking about this, um, Husky. Husky started in 1964, okay? And um, they um, were up against other brands like Corgi and uh, Hot Wheels, mainly Matchbox is what there were... Um, their competition was and what they went up against but um about this is about 178 scale and uh very nice details on them uh you can see uh and just a side note i, I got so much information to tell you the the actual land rover the over uh forward control was put on a series two frame and then they put the body on top of that you know to to and to work with and compete for uh contracts with the military so this would uh normally in real life would uh a gunship they would uh pull a gun ship and uh and then obviously cargo with it um so the husky brand uh name was manufactured by bet toy playcraft limited out of uh swans well how do you say that swansea s-w-a-n-s-e-a -S -S -E swansea wales so there you go um yeah rebranded as corgi juniors or corgi rockets later on in the 60s uh later on in the 70s excuse me when uh, hot wheels and that came around so they were trying to compete with those guys so um Head-to-head -head with Matchbox. Now, the interesting thing, and kind of going back to this packaging, head-to-head -head with Matchbox. Now, if you guys all know, Matchbox pretty much got its name or was known for selling its cars in a box, a Matchbox. Well, Husky, even though they were uh, kind of here sold in the States as an inexpensive knockoff and was only sold in Woolworth stores here in the States, but they were the innovative, I would guess, or, or say the innovative pioneers of putting their models on a blister pack, carded blister pack. And, uh, now as we see, you know, Matchbox is now, <laughs> and everybody, anybody that does die cast, uh, well, except for, you know, the weirdos like Tamika and, <laughs> and some of those, uh, uh, from across over on the little island over there, they, they do their still in a box, but everybody else is pretty much a blister pack. So, uh, that is, uh, yeah, so that was kind of one of their kind of neat things is, uh, unlike Lesney and Matchbox, it was sold in a blister pack so you could see the model. Uh, the earlier models were this red and white with the dog head, the husky on there. And this would say, uh, I think 33 cents is what that said, or 39 cents underneath there. So that's what the retail price was. Later on in the late 60s, it was uh, yellow, red, and white, and uh, more prominent with the uh, husky models there. But uh, so there you go. There's some uh, uh, interesting facts. Uh, one of the research, um, uh, what do you, people that I use for getting uh, information from is allisons.org. Uh, they do a lot of different stuff, 
But uh, check them out, allison.org. They've got quite a bank of all different kinds of toys. Uh, so let's get right into the model. Um, like I say, most of them, all of them, pretty much came with the uh, plastic canvas top on there. And it is kind of hard to find them, obviously, with this because, you know, that doesn't even click on there very securely. I mean, it, I mean it's on there, but, you know, boom, it's gone. So the construction is metal body and all of them had that tinted blue green blue blue window and uh, a plastic base with gray wheels on it and uh, simple kind of shrug it does have two rivets on there but as you can see one of the hereditarily uh, 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 <laughs> drawbacks on these models is they'd always snap off these corners on this bumper you know and uh, I've got some other ones that got more severe damage the interesting thing enough if we could focus here a little bit maybe we zoom in a little bit we can focus a little bit is that this plastic uh, base also has built-in suspension and if I could show you I I gotta tell you I spent several hours you can see that that's got a little suspension in there built right in uh, to it and it's on the front and the back so very kind of ingenious uh, way of doing that one piece mold there now I point this out is that there are a couple of variations and uh, this is kind of why I have mine in two different groups because there's two variations and I took I, I, I swear it was like, well, I don't normally swear, but <laughs> God dang it, I, I do swear every once in a while. I, I probably took 20 minutes trying to find the uh, needle in the haystack, which is there is some variations, some early variations that had metal bases. Now, after many, many searching and, and sorting and putting in different piles and going back and forth, I do not have any metal base ones. I, all of them have these tabs broke off and that is one telltale sign that it's a plastic base. All right, now you do notice that I have a uh, left here and a right here. Well, let's talk about that. Um, they're pretty much the same model um, in that one is an earlier model and one is a later model okay and this is where you're gonna find out the difference they're pretty much all the same except for when you flip them around here and you take a look do you see that quarter window the corner back corner window behind the B pillar yeah the earlier models had that window the later models did not so pretty cool kind of nice to know that I have a lot of earlier models and not so many uh, later models of course the one in the package yeah that's a later model so anyway so uh, taking a look these guys are pretty uh, pretty spongy they're they're, they're really kind of neat they, they got some good suspension um, but um, yeah the, the thing of it is this one here notice how that that kind of just sits right down there there's no suspension that's because the suspension piece broke on this one and so yeah there's no suspension on that one now as you do notice uh, I've got this green one which was stock color the first I'm assuming the first original color was the green I was not able to really pinpoint when uh, they did the dark army green now this usually has a star on it these over here have stars on it this one has a star on it but these other ones that have them but somewhere in the transition now these green ones and I keep going back and forth sorry the green ones are known as 11s 11 a1 11 the army ones are 21 they're known as 21 usually have a star on top and they do come with or without that rear corner um, window on it. So, you know, it's not like 
the green one was the first edition, and then 1972 on was these. You know, I don't know if there was a transition period or what. Not very much. So that's where I and all my friends on Roverland would like to have some input. You know, you guys can go over to Facebook and uh, Roverland, chit-chat with me over there. Um, friend me on Facebook. My name is Winchell Dan. I'm listed backwards on Facebook. Can you believe that? Your friend Dano backwards. <laughs> well, anyway, so yeah, and on Instagram, Roverland channel, you can check us out over there. But for sure, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe and like this channel. Look at the details on this bugger. Very, very good details. Uh, rivets all along here. You got the door handle. Very good. Uh, there's blank paste on the other side here. It's got uh, cargo and, and more straps down here. Just a very accurate uh, just depiction of the the two-way series two ways uh forward control and uh, i don't know if this is ricky's or robin's or ricardo's but anyway so there you go you've got to check your collection they all came with the gray wheels they all came pretty much with the black um base now this one here i don't know why but it's a little bit different colored base all of them are this color except for this one is kind of a i don't know a lighter gray it's not black it's it's a lighter gray i don't know if that really shows up well on on the camera but uh so there you go this is kind of what we uh looked at today here is a really nice example other than the busted corner there uh, and a little detailing just on the bumper this is kind of one of my nicer uh uh, examples I do I don't remember where I got a lot of these I think I may have found a couple in the wild this one's pretty well beat up we got a ding in the back there and um, yeah pretty beat up this would probably be one that maybe I could take apart and uh, uh, customize or work on talking about that here's another one you can see this guy he, he doesn't have any suspension whatsoever on that so but it's an army green one but oh yeah, see there you can see that that suspension is busted right out, busted right out. But yeah, it's it's kind of ingenious how they did that. You know they didn't. You know on matchboxes they had another rivet and a suspension piece on there. Well, I've got one more here to show you. This <laughs> check. Oh jeez, I lost the wheels on it. Yep, I uh, was working on. Uh, I don't know why or how, but uh, this one I. Uh, put some Lesney Matchbox wheels on it. These these seem all right, but they seem a little small. And so I was kind of doing an area correct uh, wheel swap, would you say, on this one. And I just haven't got the, uh, uh, yeah, the end of the axle peened over there. So yeah, I lost the wheel on the floor. There you go. But that looks pretty sharp. I think that's pretty, uh, pretty neat. Uh, custom of of his age and time you know we don't want to put red lines on it but uh pretty interesting pretty interesting so there you go that's what we're looking at today the husky uh model 11 and 21 right here on roverland if you guys like what you see remember subscribe uh, leave a comment down below if you've got any of these. Do you have the older version with the corner window? Or do you have the one that's just filled in there? Which ones do you have the most of? And how many do you have of these, you know? Which one do you like better? I kind of part and parcel of that Army Green one, seeing as I had an Army truck at one time, Army Land Rover. All right, remember, join me on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, one thing before I go. Uh, I started this on uh, Facebook, Roverland. Go ahead and go over there. I'm selling some things that I've had. Uh, I've got multiples of or quadruples of, I should say. i got a fair price. Uh, we'll work on shipping. I'll ship anywhere in the world. So uh, just trying to help you complete your uh, Land Rover collection. But we got some matchboxes there, some Hot Wheels and stuff like that and even a majorette so go check that out 
over on uh, Facebook. And uh, make sure, yeah, go ahead and friend me up. Uh, Winchell Dan, W-I-N-C-H-E-L-L. Yeah, hell on the end. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for sticking around. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And my friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.